Remember a little while back I showed some Kumamon chips and said that at some point I would definitely show more Kumamon stuff. Well today I'm definitely doing that. Isn't he cute? He's become hugely popular. So popular that he's got his own Kumamon Mini Yonku car. Was it a Mini Yonku Kumamon version? I know I just did the Mini 4-wheel drive car video, but well the way it turned out when we went to the store, Kumiko saw a poster for this. And I think she just jokingly said, oh I want that one. Or I asked her if she wanted that one, and she said, well, no, not really, which was a good thing because it was totally sold out. Pretty much everywhere. It was so popular, it sold out really quickly, and everyone's waiting for new shipments. I found one online on Amazon Japan, and they wanted way more than original retail price. So I wasn't going to buy it at all. I was just going to wait until it came in middle of September. But then one came up on Amazon at a really good price, like 907 yen with no shipping. So I jumped on it. Kumiko doesn't know I have it yet. I'm going to put it together today and surprise her with it. I'm not sure if she'll be happy or not. We'll find out. So, time for an assembly time lapse. And our Kumon limited edition Mini Yon Onku racer by Tamiya is finished. In some ways it went even faster than the other ones because there's a lot less stickers. But it also probably went slower because my camera was giving me problems. So this limited edition Kumon racer is really cute. It's, you know, put together like any other Tamiya one. But I think it, the body is a little flimsy. We'll see how that works out. I'm hoping Kumiko will be happy. I know she'll be surprised. Oh, we should check if it actually runs. Runs good. Okay. Hey, Kumiko. Lilia got her pink thing, her pink scorpion. I got my my Leo Savannah. And Duncan and Kai have their racers, and we thought, Mummy needs a racer too. So, so I got you this. <laughs> I got it on uh, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? I am happy, yeah. Mommy. <laughs> now we've just got to have somewhere to race it. That will partially take care of itself, but also I do plan to take care of that too. To be continued, because I have actually ordered one more racer off of Amazon. Mm. So I did continue, but video maker wise I was a bad boy about it because I didn't record myself assembling the car. I just felt like taking it easy and slow and relaxed and making it, so... So, this is my one more I've got. A special clear red edition of Slash Reaper. Special editions because it got a clear body, that's it. But I was really stupid about this. I purchased it over the internet and I shouldn't have. Let me give you a piece of advice from something I've learned. Do not order these over Amazon.com unless there is absolutely no other way to get them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's her advice. Most of the options, it was plus 500 yen shipping, but I found one for 1,480 yen, no shipping, so I went for it. Basically, I paid full price plus shipping because I went to the hobby store yesterday. I found two of this exact model in the store for less money. I could have got a 10% discount off of the regular price. I spent about 500 yen more than I should have. Go to a local store, check there first. Only buy it on Amazon if it's something you really want and cannot get any other way. And before you buy it, you know, write down the model number off of Amazon, take it to your local store and ask if they can order it because chances are you'll save yourself some money. That was my learning experience. Still, I was really happy to put this together. It was a different chassis style. I think out of the six cars, we got four different chassis styles. So I actually really enjoyed putting them together with all the differences they had in the cars. Now I can't wait to race them. 